Okay, in our last uh, video, we looked at um, the uh, the uh, the um, outcome probability rule. This time, we're going to do what's called the sequence rule. Uh, so here's how the sequence rule goes. So this is again, oops, sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, this is the sequence rule. So rule five, the sequence rule. Um, here's the idea with the sequence rule. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to look at if we have, now we're going to have an SGX, let's say. Um, let's come out of the plus side, just it doesn't actually matter. Let's go into an SGZ. All right, let's come out of the minus side of the SGZ. Again, I'm just setting these arbitrary. And let's come out of the minus side of the SGX. All right, so all this does um, is this says, let's say we're starting here, we're starting basically um, with some things coming out of the plus X. Again, we know because they're coming out of the plus X that they are a plus X um, right there. Um, so let's say they're coming out of the plus X. What we wanna ask is, is what is um, the probability that it goes first through this one and then through this one and then comes out of the minus sign. So this is this is what we're asking is whether it's coming out of the minus sign. By the way, this, this seems a little weird because it seems like um, couldn't we just do these things separately? Uh, it turns out we could. Um, this is actually leading us up to the next rule. So this is kind of an important rule in, in between to lead us to the next rule. So again, what we're asking is if we come out of this plus this plus X here, um, uh, whether or not we, um, uh, uh, whether uh, what our probability is of coming out of the minus x. Um, all right, so it's going to start um, similarly, um, and again, just like before, we're actually going to read things backwards. So we're going to first start with a minus z. Um, uh, sorry, that's not a z. This is an x minus x. We're then going to come back here to our minus z. Okay. And then the crazy thing is we're just going to do the exact same thing again. So now we're going to say, okay, that was if we come out of if we if we come out of the minus z, what's our chance coming out of the minus x? Now we have to come back a little bit and say, well, also if we come out of the plus x, what's our chance of coming out of the minus z? So we do a minus z and a plus x. So again, this is actually just using what we used before in the in rule number four, but just adding the two of them together. All right, and so again, nothing changes about this. So again, we turn the left one sideways. This is minus x, so this is square root of one half. This is negative square root of one half. All right, this is zero and one. Those are now being multiplied. All right, so they're, they're, these are two separate statements. They're being multiplied by uh, a zero, one, and a plus x, which is just square root of one half and square root of one half. Oops, there we go. Okay, um, so again, we multiply there, we multiply there, we get a square root of one half times zero, plus, uh, minus, because it's right there, square root of one half times uh, one. And we have that all being multiplied by, again, here and here, um, I'm not gonna do the zero times square root of one half. I assume you guys know that zero times square root of one half is gonna give us zero. One times square root of a half is just gonna give us square root of one half. Okay, so again, this goes to zero as well. So all we do is we get minus, uh, sorry. We get minus square root of one half um, times square root of one half. Um, and that's just going to give us minus one half. So that is the outcome, uh, the, the quantum amplitude of going from the plus x again up here, oh, the whole way over to the um, to the minus x over there. Now, if we want to know the probability of coming out of the minus x, starting in that plus x, uh, coming starting in that state of the plus x, we just take that quantum amplitude and we square it. And so it's just that minus one half squared, and that just gives us one quarter. So that is the probability, and it makes sense because the probability of going from here to here is one half. The probability of going from here to here one half, um, if you take one half times one half, that just gives you one fourth. So that's the idea of the sequence rule. 
Um, and uh, we'll use that next time if we look at rule six to actually figure out how to do the superposition of states basically when things get added back together.